Rui Lopez opening, Morphe defense, closed, Pilnik variation, 9, NA510. BC2 C511. NBD2 NC6. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. e5 is a common response that establishes a presence in the center, controls d4, and opens up the queen and dark squared bishop. nf3 develops the knight toward the center, attacks the e5 pawn, and prepares to castle. nc6 develops the knight toward the center, protects the pawn on e5, and eyes the d4 square. The Rui Lopez opening develops the bishop to immediately attack the knight on c6, the lone defender of the e5 pawn. a6 forces the bishop to decide, exchange or retreat. ba4 safely retreats the bishop while keeping pressure on the knight. nf6 attacks the undefended e4 pawn and develops the knight at the same time. Castling gets the king out of the center and prepares to develop the rook to e1. b7 develops the dark squared bishop and prepares to castle. d3 defends the e4 pawn and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. This prepares the bishop for development. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. The opposing bishop is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. This moves the bishop to safety. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. Master Games It is the last book move. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. It is best. This strikes at the center with a pawn fighting for space. This threatens to fork pieces. It is best. This prevents the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is excellent. Takes back. It is best. Recaptures. This threatens to take an open file with a rook. It is best. Very precise. It is best. Right on target. It is best. This overlooks an opportunity to add a defender to a vulnerable pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Takes back. It is best. This activates a piece and simultaneously wins time by attacking an opposing queen. It is excellent. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is excellent. This wins a tempo by threatening a queen and forcing it to move away. It is good. This moves the queen to safety. This threatens to kick a bishop. It is best. This exposes an attack, threatening a pawn. It is best. This kicks an opposing bishop. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is best. This fianchettos the bishop by placing it on a powerful diagonal. It is best. This reveals an attack on a pawn. It is best. This misses an opportunity to add a defender to a vulnerable pawn. It is an inaccuracy. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. This permits the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a queen. It is a mistake. This misses an opportunity to win a tempo by threatening a queen. It is a miss. This ignores an opportunity to increase a bishop's scope by moving it to a better square. It is a miss. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is best. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is excellent. This attacks a queen, winning a tempo when it moves away. It is excellent. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players.
This moves the queen to safety. It is excellent. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players.